Hey guys, how's it going? Kapirin here. Today I'm going to talk about Unstable Portal. I actually already made a few videos about Unstable Portal, but those are before the card had been released. And most of what I had thought, most of what most people had agreed with uh, came true. It is actually quite a good card because as it turns out, you can get some pretty ridiculous tempo from getting a big creature or a legendary and sometimes just, you know, playing it on two mana and getting a three mana card that you play immediately for zero. Uh, usually ends up being very good. I think while there are a lot of bad three drops, I think the average three drop is slightly better uh, than the top end-ish of the two drops. But there are a few things to consider, there are a few things that people didn't really take into account. While some people thought this card would be ridiculously overpowered even in Constructed, that doesn't actually end up being true. Most mages right now are either very slow in the very controlling end with combos, or in very fast with mechy kind of stuff. And in both cases, you really rely on the synergy of the cards. And even though you get that extra mana efficiency, that extra chance to really push for a crazy turn with Unstable Portal, it doesn't really work. The, the fact that you can't synergize it with the rest of your deck right away uh, makes it so, you know, it's not really worth it. Um, but in Arena, this card is pretty amazing, um, though I kind of hyped it up as being one of the best cards in Arena for Mage. I don't know if that's actually the case. While it is spectacular, in Arena you kind of have to play it to stabilize. So what I mean by that is, like, you can't just turn to Unstable Portal uh, sometimes. I mean, if your opponent has something on the board, you have nothing. If you do turn to Unstable Portal, and you get something useless or you get you know something that you can't play right away uh, you're probably just gonna lose even though arena has that flexibility the timing that you play this card is often fairly inappropriate so you kind of need to already have a good arena deck for it to be good so when you're playing arena when you draft in a mage uh, let's say you're like 10 cards in your deck is pretty much complete dumpster and you got this versus an azure drake and you got a bunch of spells you know another top tier rare uh, you probably should go with the other rare but nonetheless this card does have some spectacular results and after playing quite you know quite significant amount with it in arena I do have to say that I do think it's it is still one of the better rare cards for mage but more importantly it produces some wild games because of the uh, fact that you get a disproportionate amount of legendaries from it as you would in a general arena draft and a you know decent legendary or just the big ass creature at the good at a good time in arena can give you uh, pretty much a free win so while this card has some good sides it also has some bad sides but Pretty much all across the board, it produces some spectacular highlights, and I thought I'd just group up the best ones over the last couple of weeks that, play, that I had a chance to play with this card, and you guys can basically be the judge. Is it super cool, or is it uh, good, but not quite too good? I think I'm more with uh, that second one, but still, hope you guys enjoy the highlights. Hope you guys try out the card if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I should have portaled first, I guess. Holy shit! Wow! Alright. Well, apparently we don't need fireballs. Don't need them. think about this. Yeah, fuck it. There's not much to think about. Alright. Now we have a very mage-like hand. Should have pinged there. Should have shot. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh shit! All right, fuck it. What did that do?
My blast mage. Uh, see, Santa, I gotta teach you a lesson here, okay? So, the reason... Okay. The reason you play Acolyte and ping him the same turn is so the other mage doesn't Cabal Shadow Priest them. You see? Okay. Yeah. Never seen that part before. Yeah. Now you know, guys. Now you know. <laughs> My guy technically can't die if all six hit him. And he can't win. There's no one card that wins here, right? The polymorph. Unless he has like unstable portal Neptulon or something. Oh my god. Okay, well that was not too far off. <laughs> Stable portal. Well, I gotta play shit, I guess, now. I have a feeling this is gonna be quite bad. Unstable portal into unstable portal. <coughs> and he didn't play either of them. Okay. This this might be pretty bad, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. It's a piece of crap, as it turns out. Oh, shit! Okay. What's that? I don't have late game. That looks like late game. Nice six drop. Oh, uh, let's, hold on, let's see. Six mana for 12. Well, the four attack is a little low for a six drop, but I guess the 12 health is all right. Uh, at the end of your turn, draw a game winning card. I guess that's pretty good. Like winning the game on, on turn seven is pretty nice most of the time. Yep. Your magic shall not save no, chugga chugga. Well, Laughing Sister is not what I want. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually like this very much. Portal? Looks good. Whenever an enemy minion dies, summon a leper gnome. Okay. All right. This is my late game, guys. It's summoning portals. Don't you fucking kings it. No! No kings! Oh, divine shield. I guess that's okay. Avenging Wrath. That's optimistic for it to kill you, Sarah. Well, fuck. Alright, I guess. Pretty not cool, though, bro. Pretty not cool.
Mechaneer. I want to get value off of him immediately. Dude, we just got an army of leper gnomes. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's ping that, get a leper gnome. Okay, let's kill a leper gnome to get a leper gnome. Let's kill that to get a leper gnome. I like explosions. Yeah. Is he a mech? Oh man, he is. Dude, I kinda wanna play this guy. I did call him bad. I think he kind of is bad, but... Uh, it's pretty good this game. Dude, I got some leper gnomes for your justice. Yeah, if he consecrates, he kills himself. That's hilarious. That's how we do it. More explosions. More explosions. Hey guys, when you don't have late game, the game just delivers it to you. <laughs>